Hey guys, and welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Today we're going to be doing five exercises to heal your diastasis recti or your mummy tummy. So I am seven weeks postpartum and I am seeing a pelvic floor physiotherapist, which I highly recommend because they will give you exercise specific to you. But I'm going to go over the exercises that I've been doing and that my um, physiotherapist recommended to me to help close that gap. So this is baby number three for me, and I had a three-finger gap um, that I'm working on closing, and it's slowly closing, and my mummy tummy is going away. Yay! Um, so of course, check with your doctor or your physiotherapist before starting any new exercise routine and make sure that it's safe for you. Today we are going to need some socks. And so it is a miracle that I found matching socks um, because I have a really hard time matching my socks. And so we're gonna get started. So first we're gonna start doing some toe circles. So you can actually come back and we're going to go back on our elbows here. You're gonna keep one leg bent. You're going to stretch the other one out. And I want to you to feel you sucking in and up. And also like there's a string pulling your two hip bones together. So you can point your foot here and we'll do five circles. Good. Two, three, four, making sure that the other leg is nice and stable. Good. And we will bring that down and we'll switch to the other leg and five controlled circles here. One, two, again, activating those lower abdominal transversus abdominis muscles. Three, four, and one more, and good. So this is the one that my um, physiotherapist gave to me on my last one. So I'm actually just going to flip over to my side, carefully get down so that I'm not causing any bulging in the stomach there. And I'm going to relax my head down here, so again, activating the lower abdominal, feeling like a string is pulling towards my belly button, they're pulling it together. And so what I'm gonna do is lift one leg up and the other leg up, and then this leg down and that leg down. So that's the first exercise. So we'll do those again. So this other side, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Switching sides each time, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. And one more, up, up, down, down. So I want you to make sure that you're not getting any bulging, but if you're ready to progress to the next level and this doesn't cause any bulging, for me, I was actually told this time I'm going to lift both of them up and then go down one at a time. So when I was going down both at a time, that's when the bulging was happening. So it's a little bit harder. So going up together and one at a time. Up together, one at a time. Good. We'll do three more of these, nice. And up, and each time you're activating your lower abdominal muscles. And up, down, down, and last one. Up, and down, down, good. So now, again, we will Come back up safely. We're going to prop ourselves back up on our elbows here. And we're going to lift our leg slightly off. And then keeping our bent leg with the one with the foot flat on the ground, very stable, as if there's a glass of water sitting on that knee, we're going to turn it out just until we start to feel as if our hips are going to shift. We want to keep everything stable. We're only moving that leg. 
activating the lower abdominals again. Good. And slow and steady. Good. And activate. Good. And we'll do one more here. And switch sides. And up. And then now we will turn this out. Good. And we'll do a few more here, nice and slow, focusing on activating, making sure that our hips aren't turning out. And last one here, and good. So now again, we'll flip onto our side and we're going to do heel slides, but unlike from usually from a lying down position, we're going to do them from a standing up position. So you actually want to scooch your bum to next to a wall. And so this is why I've got socks so that my heel can slide. And we're going to actually do both at the same time because we're seated. So we're going to slide out and slide in. You can feel those lower abdominals working. If that's too much, just do one leg and then the other. Good. So we'll do eight more of these. Oh, my mat's sliding a little bit. <laughs> Seven. Make sure that no bulging is happening. Six. Five, four, three, two, and last one. And good. And now we're going to bring our feet up here. Actually, I'm just going to move my mat out of my way here. And we're going to do lateral slides here. So we're gonna open up our legs and bring them out to the side. So again, right up against the wall, sitting up straight and sliding out. And at the same time, we're activating here. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and last one. Perfect, and great job. So we're done for today. So again, with your diastasis recti, it really only takes five or 10 minutes um, a couple of times a day. I usually try and do them in the morning or in the evening, or I have three kids, so whenever I can fit them in and do a few of those exercises to close. I'm also wearing um, a belly band, which is helping bring down my mummy tummy quite a bit. So if you want a full um, guide on how to heal your mummy tummy for my second pregnancy, I closed a four finger gap down to less than one finger. So in the description below, I'll put the full guide that you can access for free there. And we will see you next week. Bye for now.